Hello there, welcome to the Applied October 2020 paper. Here we're looking at the first question. So the Venn diagram shows the probability associated with four events, A, B, C, and D. Part A is write down any of the mutually exclusive events from A, B, C, or D. Now what mutually exclusive means is there's no overlap in the Venn diagrams. So we could say, for example, A and C are mutually exclusive because there is no overlap in the Venn diagram. Alternatively, you could say D and C, or even D and B are mutually exclusive. Any of those answers, I'd put A and C. Given that probability of B is 0.4, calculates the value of P, well, P here is going to be um, added together with 0.24 and 0.07 to make 0.4 in total, because the B circle should represent a probability of 0.4. So I'll do my calculator 0.4 minus 0.07 minus 0.24 equals 0 0.09. Uh, yeah, 0.09, so I don't need to write any calculation for that. It's only a one marker, so it's 0 0.09. And the calculation was, in case you need it, 0 0.4 minus 0 0.07 minus 0 0.24. That's 0 0.4 to take away the two elements that are already in B. Moving on, given also that A and B are independent, find the value of Q. Now what independence means, uh, this is part C, is that the probability of A multiplied by the probability of B equals the probability of A and B. There's another probability, there's another rule, but this is the best rule to use for this one. So the probability of A is going to be 0.16 add 0.24 add Q, so that's going to be 0.4 add Q, that's the probability of A, that's all of circle A, multiplied by the probability of B, which is 0.4, we've just been told that previously, t equals the probability of A and B, that's the intersection. So this statement of mathematics here should be true. So what I'll do is I'll divide the 0.4 onto the other side, so 0.4 plus Q equals 0.24 divided by 0.4, which is 0.6. So therefore, Q equals 0.2. So there we are, 0.2 is the answer for Q. Moving on to part D. Given further that the probability of not B, given that C is true, is equal to 0.64, find the, the values of R and the value of S. So... The probability of not B given C, let's, let's bring out the formula for that. The probability of not B and C over the probability of C. And this will equal 0.64. So that's just a probability definition. It's sometimes referred to as the multiplication rule of probability, but it's sometimes better written like this. So... Let's work out the answer to the probability of not B and C. So it's not in B and in C. Well, that's just going to be R. R is not in B and it's in C. It's the only region that is in C and not in R. Not in B, I mean. Out of the probability of C in total, which is going to be R plus 0.09, and that will equal 0.64. So let's multiply that onto the other side. R equals 0.64R. Add, now we'll multiply 0.09 times 0.64 gives us 0.0576. Let's now move this term here onto the other side. So that would be 0.36R equals 0.0576. Uh, and then we divide by the 0 0.36 on the other side, so divide by 0 0.36, and that will give us 0 0.16. So therefore this value here is 0 0.16. And then the final answer to work out what S is equal to, it's going to be 1 minus everything that's on this Venn diagram already. So 1 minus 0 0.2 and 0 0.16 and 0 0.24 and 0.07 and 0.09 and 0.16 and the answer we get for that is let's just type it out onto the calculator 
it's going to be 0 0.08. So 0 0.08 is the answer for S. And there we are, that's the answer for this eight mark question here on question one. Let's now move on to question two.